My name is Mariana. We are here in Hotel Horizonte, Horizonte Amic Hotels. Um, we are celebrating here this weekend the Utopia 2 project, which is an European project where we invited four other Mediterranean islands to share with us um, new concepts about innovation and creativity in business creation for young people. Some of the common practices in the field of business creation and entrepreneurship for young people in the different European islands. Well, um, according to the presentations we had today, um, lots of islands, well, lots of the governments from the islands try to support mainly assistantship for and tutoring for people that want to start a business. Um, they also do offer grants and prizes to um, stimulate uh, creati creativity and innovative ideas for young people in the islands. Do you think young people in the islands have easy access to this information? Uh, that's what we try to promote, indeed. Um, I am the one responsible for the service here and we try to have this office as a reference for everyone that wants to start their business or need information about any part, part of the process. And I guess we, we are achieving it. How can young people develop entrepreneurial skills? Um, we believe that uh, creativity, leadership, um, communication skills, uh, effective communications indeed, um, are very important for not only entrepreneurs but everyone. And we also believe that during um, courses, or participating in, in different activities such as this exchange program are very useful to, to promote or to develop those kind of skills. Um, when meeting uh, people from different places, talking in different languages, using your skills to communicate, um, to work together on, on behalf of something or so to promote something. So do you think that these skills can be taught and learned? Yes, definitely. Not necessarily no, you don't. You do, no, you don't. Don't need to be born an entrepreneur. You can develop those skills through different ways of um, experiencing different situations and um, learning and um, exchanging information and, and experiences. And this type of congress is one of the activities that young entre entrepreneurs can use to develop these skills, right? Exactly. We do have a training um, program here uh, exactly to develop those kind of skills and we also believe that the networking between, um, between people from different cultures can be very useful for that as well. What do you think is the role of technologies in this question of networking? Nowadays people communicate in different ways than they used to many years ago. I think it's, it's a key for, um, for any kind of businesses these days. Mainly when we're talking about islands, that's the case here. Um, the, the solution for many kind of limitations that we have in the islands is definitely um, technology. Um, lots of people that have the, their businesses in the islands, they work with uh, customers from all or clients from all over the world through technology. They use internet, they sell through internet, they have video conferences. Many of them have never met their, their um, customers or clients, but it makes it possible for people from the islands. We don't have the the um, territory limitation in sure, this the case. boundaries that we used to have before new technologies. Exactly, uh, exactly. Today it made me think, uh, really, when we were talking about um, uh, the problems that people from the islands have, and nowadays we don't see it that bad because, um, because we can have internet. But I was thinking, how did people used to have businesses in islands before? And it's a matter of 20 years ago, no, you know, it's not sure. so far back. And um, I think it's amazing, it's a key, it's necessary to develop businesses. And what do you think are some of the common issues shared by young entrepreneurs in the different European islands? You um, said technology is not one of them, I mean means of communication, but you probably have other issues to solve. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. One of them, even considering communication, is that they don't have the, the, the interpersonal contact, which some of them complained about it. Even though you can, you can sell, 
can still sell, you can still promote your business. It's different when you, well, at least that's their point of view. It's different when you have the, the personal um, feeling from the client. But another one is, um, well, all different kinds of resources that are very, very limited. And that does not only apply for islands, it also applies for small villages or any other territories with um, resources limitation. Um, here, the price of, of um, uh, workers uh, is much more expensive. I'm talking about islands. It's much more expensive. Um, also, it takes a long time to bring material or to, to transport things out of the islands. Uh, it's very expensive, so it takes long, it's very expensive. Um, the, the, the workers are much more expensive uh, and also it's hard to find skilled people. Sometimes it's very hard to find skilled people because young people leave the islands, they tend to leave the islands to look for better jobs, better opportunities. That's why here we're trying to promote entrepreneurship in the islands, to t try to keep young people in the islands and develop um, businesses and solve all these limitations that the islands have. I ask you about the common issues that you have in the island. What are the advantages that islands have over uh, other communities, other type of communities? Okay. Um, I think that um, living in, in an island, once everything is limited, it's easier to have contacts, okay? Um, if you have one company, that's usually the company, so there's not a lot of competitiveness in, in the businesses. And um, also, uh, people that stay in the islands, that, that, that decide to stay in the islands, tend to know the, the resources and, and the culture and the people and everything very well. So the, uh, uh, and, and the clients tend to choose to work with people from the island, so they have a big advantage um, you mean, you in that way. You say that, for example, a young entrepreneurship can see a business, I mean, making business with people from the island. Yeah, it's easier for people from the island to make business with people from the island than if an outsider comes or if they have to hire services from outside. The, I, I think that's a characteristic that people from islands have. They tend to try to work with people from the same community. Sure, and that could be the same for other communities. Exactly, yeah, I guess so.